Hi, welcome to my channel. These are Hugo M59 early production. This is the first time I have owned a Hugo that has been refurbished. I have owned a few Hugo before, and uh, but they are late production. They are M5966A1. They were in excellent condition, unrefurbished. If you ever own one of the early production, they are likely to be beaten up to refurbished. Very few exist unrefurbished in excellent condition. Now to understand that, I need to show you the production chart. Um, I also need to explain what are early, mid, and late production. Like the Russian, like the Chinese, you go have those three productions. In the case of the Russian, what I go by is the gas block. The Russian has a square glass gas block that's considered early, a slanted gas block that's considered mid, and a curved gas block which is considered late. In the case of the Chinese, they have curved gas block throughout the entire production so you can't use that. So I go by the barrel lug. If you have a long barrel lug on a Chinese SKS, it's considered early. If a short barrel lug, it's considered mid. And if you have a pin barrel, which is no barrel lug, which is considered late. In the case of the Yugo, you go, they also use the curve gas block throughout the entire production and the long barrel lug through the entire production. So you can't go by either of those. You go by the front sight block. In the case of the Yugo, if you have the typical sight block, that's considered early. If you have a sight block with the grenade launcher, that's considered mid. And if you have one with the grenade launcher with the night sights, that's considered late. Now let's look at the production chart or the table. I go by this book and this book says these are C class, serial number starts with a C, so it means it was produced in 1966. And the early production, they produced up to 52,000. And from 67 to 68, they produce 73,000 of the mid production. And from 69 onwards, they produce close to 600,000 of the late production, which explains why all my previous M66A1 were in excellent condition because they had so many and they had obviously stored away quite a few. But in the case of the early and the mid production, they built very few and so they were more likely issued and that's why they are either badly beaten or they were refurbished. Okay. So that got that out of the way. Next, we're going to start talking about what to look for in a Yugo refurbish. I am back. Now, before I talk about refurbishing, how does the early Yugo compare to the Russian? Well, compared to the late Russian, it's almost identical, including this uh, curved gas block. However, the Yugo never chrome line their bores or put any finishing on their hardwood other than oil. Those are the two major differences. Another difference is uh, the way they mark the rifles. Totally a different system. They don't always put serial number on the major parts. They do put serial number on the receiver, bolt, carrier, mag, trigger, housing, and stock. But they also use two other markings that's not common with other uh, SKS made from different countries. They use part numbers a lot and you'll see the part numbers on gas tube, gas rod, carrier, bolt, takedown lever, trigger housing, magazine, and butt plate. They also use something else. Um, now according to the book they call them inspector numbers uh, markings but I don't think that's what they are because there's like five six digits. That's too many digits. They, they couldn't be that many inspectors in a factory so I would call them production numbers and quite often you'll find them on the gas tube, barrel block, leaf, 
sight leaf, and the magazine. And I'll show you what they look like as we go along. Okay, now also, unlike the Russians, uh, the Russians use uh, refurbished symbols, okay? Uh, the Yugo do not. So you're wondering, well, if that's the case, how do you know if your Yugo has been refurbished? Well, the first one is through visual. There's a lot of indicators that will give you indication that it has been refurbished. The second one is by through the markings. Uh, and the third one is through this, this stamp marking on the buttstock on the right side. It says 1TRZ. That's an indicator that uh, that's actually stands for Technical Overhaul Institute number one, which is the company that, um, that overhauled or refurbished uh, the rifles. Okay, so that's a dead indicator that that's your, your rifle has been, been refurbished. Now, if you don't happen to have that, um, what are the other visual um, that could indicator will tell you that your rifle has been uh, refurbished? First, this bayonet in particular has definitely been refurbished because the worker who refer sprayed this bayonet was too lazy to even pull this out of the furl and there's a void in the blade right there. So that's definitely an indicator that this rifle has been refurbished. Okay, moving further down uh, to the handguard and the gas tube. Okay, uh, in this particular one, <laughs> it's so easy that this has definitely been refurbished. Why? Because the lower the stock has been sanded but the upper handguard has not. They left that alone. Why? I don't know. Because you can still see there's over a dozen nicks and marks on the top handguard. On the left side, right here, is the part number of the wood handguard. So obviously, this is the original color. This is after it's been sanded and oiled. And I can tell that this wood has been sanded quite severely. It probably had a lot of nicks and scratches and dings. Um, there's one right here, you can tell. And there's a couple on this side and a few on this side. And they sanded so much that I can actually tell the uh, finger grooves is quite shallow compared to this. So in other words, they, they actually took, took off quite a bit. And uh, also another indicator is this cross pin the nut this nut is flat now if this is like the russian uh, late model the russian has the nut curve like this one but this is flat so it means that they have changed the uh, nut on that this flat is the later version like in this later yugo Okay, now I can get rid of this. Okay, so let me remove the handguard and I want to show you what the gas tube has. This is the etching part number. Quite often the part number you see a lot of zeros. In this case it's 200 period 100. That's usually the part number when you see a lot of zero. Now this number 593 that's a production number. Um, so that is the production number. There is no part number on this. There's another etching over here it says BK. All right. Now let's uh, move along to the rear sight and on the bottom of the uh, rear sight again it's a production number 593 which is not the serial number it matches it has an E in front of it as you can see it has an E in front of it I don't know what that E stands for but uh, this is a production number Now moving that moving along to the magazine. Now the magazine 
has a part number stamped on the bottom and when you open it up there is no serial number and yet on this rifle there is a serial number engraved on the left side on the left side right there now and there is a production number 786 on the right side now I'm going to make a major guess that the original early uh, Yugo didn't put any serial number on the magazine. And the reason why I say that because I think this magazine is the original. And the reason why I say that is because the handwriting on the 593 production number is identical to the one under the leaf. The way it's written is identical. On top of that, it's also identical to this production number on the gas tube. So that leads me to believe that handwriting is so similar. So this couldn't be a replacement. If it's a replacement, the handwriting would be different. But instead, the handwriting and all three numbers are the same. So that leads me to believe that this is the original magazine to the rifle. And since it does not have any part number other than, uh, no, sorry, it does not have any serial number other than the part number, leads me to believe that the original early Yugo did not come with a serial number on their magazine. So this one has the engraved serial number that was put in during um, refurbishing. Okay, so that's what I think. Now moving along to the carrier. The carrier has a stamp part number 0 0.00004. Both of them have the same stamped part number. And on the left side is the etching, uh, laser etching serial number on the left side just on the left side of the charging groove. And of course, on the left side is your uh, serial number uh, on the receiver. Uh, that's also uh, uh, etched. Moving along to the trigger housing, in both of these are engraved. So obviously, these trigger housing uh, may or may not be original or maybe they were they are they were original and they were sanded and then they ended up uh, engraving the part number onto this but uh, in front of the trigger guard is uh, is a laser etching of the part number and I can't tell what it is but I think it's 500.001 so uh, so that's uh, another one right there let's remove the The top cover. Now, in the later Yugo, the top cover has the serial number on the back. But both of these top cover has no serial number other than the part number. And this is, of course, etched part number. And you can see it's 0 0.000.005. So I'm not sure which is, uh, uh, are these replacement top covers? I'm not sure. But there is something unusual I did find is that uh, the, at the bottom of the top cover, there is a Z, okay? And there is also a matching Z in the receiver that's been engraved. See, there is a Z in here. Now, does that mean it's refurbished? Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. Because there's no Z engraving on the uh, later model, later production uh, model. And on this one, also has a Z. It could, could indicate, the Z could indicate it's a uh, refurbish. And in the receiver, yes, there's also a Z in the receiver right there. Okay, it, it might, I'm not sure. Um, it's kind of weird. Now, 
and uh, on this top cover there's no engraved serial number hidden this one there is on the underside right there so I don't know why one would be uh, engraved and one wouldn't be engraved but both of them do have that Z and uh, both of them do have part numbers identical part numbers on the back no serial number on the back okay now going to the carrier and the bolt the carrier as I already mentioned has a part number and a serial number on the left side laser etched stamped part number on the bolt there is an etch part number on the right side and a serial number etched on the left side no serial number on the extractor not like the uh, Chinese and the Russian okay and this is the same thing so uh, oh and if you're coming to the takedown lever you can tell there is a part number stamped on it and of course also on the butt plate there is a part number, uh, not a part, yeah, there's a part number stamped on the butt plate too. Okay, so uh, if your early Yugo does not have the 1.TRZ, does that mean it's not refurbished? No, there's still some other indicators that you can use. So, thank you very much for joining me. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you.